Hello, my crafty friends. Hope everybody's having a nice week. Um, I do want to apologize to many of you today. Um, I know I got several emails of your videos in uh, my computer, but unfortunately this week I was not able to um, comment on a lot of the videos because I was not home. And I this morning when I got up and yesterday afternoon when I got home, I saw, I mean, just, I had numerous emails. I mean, it was just so so many emails that I could not even answer them all or, or respond to them all. So, if you notice that I didn't comment on your video um, th this week, and please don't think that I was mad or unsubbed you or anything like that. Uh, Tuesday morning, I woke up, and there was something unusual going on with my leg. And I got kind of freaked out because they're just, you know, I wasn't thinking uh, anything like seriously was wrong. I thought maybe I had like irritated it from where I had been sitting in the wheelchair getting around, but it turned out to be a blood clot. So I was admitted into the hospital Tuesday and didn't get home until yesterday, late yesterday afternoon. Um, they you know, started me with the blood thinners. Fortunately, they caught the blood clot in time. So that was the good the good news. It was caught in time. It wasn't a great big massive huge blood clot. It was a kind of a small one, so it made it easier for the blood thinner to um, kind of dissolve this out. And they ran so many tests on me. I'm so sick of being tested, but I was able to come home yesterday. And um, but I have to have my my labs checked every week now from now on until they say different, and I have to stay on a blood thinner. So I'm going to be on a blood thinner for a while and uh, have to watch myself, you know, be careful not to cut my legs. Um, you know, they warned me not to try, try not to get cut of any kind because because I'm on the blood thinner, if I get a cut, it will bleed more than usual. So I have to be careful. i um, not allowed to go to the dentist to have a tooth pulled right now unless I get off the thinners. Because that also is a dangerous, you know, bleeding and stuff. So, um, I have some more rules to follow for a while. I mean, I didn't feel sick. I felt fine when, you know, I'm, I don't feel bad. But I just happened to have the unusual pain in my leg. And I just happened to notice a discoloration to it. And kind of got a little freaked. But while I was in the hospital, I was scared to death. I mean, I know when they said blood clot, I was like, oh my God, oh my gosh, I'm freaking, um, I was scared. I didn't sleep much at all. I was so afraid that blood clot was going to hit my heart or lungs. And I mean, you know, when, when, when I found out what it can do, you know, it scared me. I've heard of people ha having blood clots, you know, and I've, I've heard them dying. In fact, I had a, uh, my husband's brother-in-law, he died of uh, multiple blood clots in his lungs but I never really, we were not there when he died, and we didn't know what was going on or how he's been treated or anything like that. So, I, I mean, all I know is he died of blood clots in his lungs, but I, I had no idea about blood clots. I mean, I really never checked into it. But now that I know, it is a very scary feeling. I mean, it's like you can be wake up being fine, feeling fine, and die tomorrow. I mean, that, that just that instantly something can kill you so quickly that you don't even I mean you can feel feel fine and not really be sick and something like that can kill you just within the blink of an eye so it did kind of freak me out well anyway before I went into the hospital I had started working on another project and uh, when I found out I was having to go to the hospital I went ahead and packed up a little suitcase real quick and I always have one pre-packed anyway, but with a few things, so I don't really have to put that much in it. But before we left, I looked at my husband and I said, I'm not sitting in that hospital. I don't know how, no telling how long I'm going to be there. And I was working on this project and um, I said, I'm taking it with me. And we left it in the car just in case, you know, I didn't get admitted. But I took a few things with me and I took my glue gun and I took some lace. I said, well, at least if I'm going to be sitting there, I'm going to be busy and not try to be thinking about being sick or anything like that. But like I said, I didn't feel sick. So being in the hospital, sitting in a bed, not doing nothing would have driven me nuts. It really would have. And then, God, the food's, ah, terrible, terrible food. I hate hospital food. I would have rather them give me raw vegetables and raw fruits than to bring me the stuff they brought me. I mean, it was terrible. They had the worst food. Well, anyway, 
long story short, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine, but um, I just didn't get a chance to see everybody's videos this week, and I'm, I had to delete all my email because it was just too much. And, you know, I do apologize, but um, sometimes I'm not going to be always be able to comment on everybody's walls every day. I mean, you know, as things do come up that, you know, I may not be around to watch the videos. And I do apologize for that. But I'm pretty sure we all have been in the same boat. Well, anyway, I went to uh, the hospital, but I took, you know, my stuff with me. And I had showed you all my vanity mirror. And this is what it looks like. This was from last the last um, project I did. And I had mentioned that I want to make a set of something for my bathroom. So uh, I took and made two perfume bottles and a lotion bottle. Okay, I'm going to start off with the, the lotion bottle first. Um, I got a rack from Texas Girl 104, which is Leslie. Leslie, thank you so much for this lotion. It works wonderful. I tell you what, I put some of her lotion on. She makes her handmade lotion. And I put some of her handmade lotion on right after the, um, I got the rack. And I did not have to put any lotion on my hands until the next day. That's how good that lotion is. It smells good. It's super soft. It makes your hands feel great. I mean, it literally improved the look of my hands because my hands have been real dried and cracky looking here lately. And they look like I've got wrinkles or aging in my skin and it's 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 just dry dryness. Well, anyway, um, it was just a clear little bottle and uh, it was plastic, nothing really fancy and it had coconut written on it. I removed the tape that she put on it and I decided that I was going to really deck this bathroom set all out and my my theme is right now using seashells so i'm going to be doing some projects uh that will be showing and, and incorporating the seashells not every one of them but there's a few things i do want to do um because i this is something that i was doing when way before i met you guys and uh some of the things i even sold in, in ebay and got fairly decent money for it so i decided to make myself a set because I never ever kept myself my own set I always sold it all so now I'm keeping you know making and keeping for myself well anyway this was just a plain little plastic bottle nothing fancy about it, it has a screw on top and a you lift uh, you, you pull this um, you pull this down it lifts up and uh, I'm not gonna lift it up though and the cap comes off and I just um, I put took some of my pink bling and went took went all the way around it with the pink bling uh, Michael's has this new type of strip of rhinestone looking uh, trim and I bought about one sheet of it and I put a little silver trim around that and then I put a Jesse James bead here and then I um, embellished it with the um, let's see if I can get it a little closer you'll notice there are this like seashells that go around that then I double pearled my pearls and then single pur pearled a row and then put a row of pearls around that. The roses, pink roses, came from Discount Crafters 1. And um, the cream flowers came from Michael's. Seam band, spine, binding was something I had in my stash. And then the little butterfly here. Thanks, Barb, of um, Barb from Stamps Too Much. She had sent me a rack, and in the rack was this cute little butterfly. It was in gray. I took some stickles, pink stickles, though, and stickled it so it gave it a little bit of a glitzy look. So that's how this um, lotion bottle turned out. And then um, my husband, he, he bought me, when we first met each other, he um, bought, bought me this perf some perfume. It was, oh, it smelled good. I loved it. And there was two different kinds of perfume that I've always worn. And um, the rest of the perfumes, I don't really mess with too much. But these are like my two favorites. Well, anyway, um, I had it for years, years and years. And then finally it ran out. And then we couldn't find it anymore. So, I think it was a year ago or a year and a half ago, he found me a bottle of the um, perfume. So, unfortunately, these, I, you know, once the perfume runs out, I cannot replace perfume in these. I wished I would have had the, the perfume bottles that I could have replaced perfume in it, but I didn't. So, you know, but this stuff will last me forever. But anyway, this perfume bottle is, is not the shape 
that it really is. It, it's um, the the lids r correctly, but it goes over a little bit and and it ends about right there. So there's about an inch and a half um, or inch, yeah, inch and a half on each side that is fake. It's not glass on an inch and a half of these. Now what I did is I took my seashells and I built them up around the, the perfume bottle with my paste. And I pasted it down and uh, made the shape of the bottle the way I wanted. Almost like me you know, playing with clay. So I made the, the shape of the bottle the way I wanted it with the seashells. I started out with the scallop shells. Um, I do a lot of my projects where I start out with the large shells and then work my way down to the small shells. So um, on this piece, or some of the, the trims that I, I um, have on here, uh, are there's a few little racks I received, and the little glass beads here are from Tammy, SS Crafter 1. Thank you, Tammy, for the glass beads. I found good use for them. Used every single one of them. And thank you so much. And then the beading here, the beaded trim, um, I got from some from Tammy, and I got some from Annalena too, and uh, I think I got some from Kim, Angel Dream. I think she sent me a, a few of these too. So I have uh, a variety of racks that people had given me on this on these pieces. Um, usually, ma mainly it's the um, beads, the beads here, and the uh, glass beads. And then the crystal butterfly that came from uh, Tammy SS Crafter One, and some of these little beads here, and some of the shells came from Rosa Aquino. Thank you, Rosa. And then some of the shells came from Tammy SS Crafter One. So I really had a good time. Like I said, I had this all started. I had just started working on it, so I had the this area was all built up and it had dried. But I didn't have the embellishments here or the flowers and all that stuff. So before I um, went to the hospital, I packed myself a little bag full of goodies with my glue gun. <laughs> and some paste in a jar. And I took this with me to the hospital. <laughs> so I'd have something to do. And uh, last night when I got home, uh, I finally finished it off. Um, so I, I finished the roses part. But what I did is, I, like I said, I took large seashells with um, my paste, and I uh, made my shape just like with Sculpey clay. And um, this has even underneath this shell here, there's paste, so this shell will never come off. It's stuck. And um, then I just embellished it. Uh, I took this here, which was a plastic uh, top, and I put an old necklace. I had a pair of them that matched, and I had I put a little old necklace piece on the top of each one. And then I, I just uh, glued down the beads. And then I glued down uh, some real rhinestone trim. So I used some of my stash of rhinestone trim, which I very seldom like to touch. But I went ahead and pulled it out because this is the only way I was going to get this uh, project the way I wanted it. And then, then I uh, took some bling trim that I found in uh, eBay one time. And then some more uh, rhinestone, more uh, pearl, more rhinestone. Just made a pattern out of that whole entire, um, so as you can see there, that's how that, that looks. And um, both of these are identical. I made them exactly identical. Uh, there might be a little offness on the seashells because each seashell is a different size. So I may, even though, like, you know, they look might identical, there might be just a slight variance difference in each one, and that's because of the shells and um, the pearls and things I had. But I tried to blend it in as the best I could. Anyway, um, then I glued uh, other little pearls down. The little smaller pop pearls got laid down. Um, the little flat back pearls, and then I got some rhinestone trim right here. I, um... Did my seam binding, uh, you know, curled it up, put uh, paper roses from Michaels and uh, paper rosem discount crafts one. Uh, this is just a little rhinestone trim I had that I found um, online uh, in a jewelry batch I bought. And um, then on the back, there's more seashells and glass beads in between, and just you know, and then the crystal butterfly. And then after I got done, I put a um, I had a matching pair of 
enameled earrings and they had rhinestones in the center and I used that for the centering and glued those on and then underneath the bottom after it, the bottom dried out I put uh, the felt backing on it so it doesn't scratch my counters or anything so that has the felt backing but this is what turned out in my project uh, for this week and um, now I have the, the vanity mirror the uh, lotion bottle I'm just going to get a little close there so you can see the, the glitzy glamour there it's really really pretty so as of right now I have my perfume bottles my lotion bottle and um, I now have the vanity mirror so my set is starting to grow um, I have two more items that I'm going to do this week to add to this set and um, hopefully I'll be able to finish those uh, there's a lot of quite a few items that I plan on making for this set so you're going to see the set get bigger and bigger as as the weeks go by but this is so far what I have done and um, this week I've got two more projects that I want to work on and I think there's maybe one more project after these two projects I do somewhere around there so there's about three more projects that I need to do or maybe four possibly four four projects that I would like to incorporate in this but um, this is how she turned out I hope everybody likes her uh, thanks so much for watching my video and I hope everyone has a nice weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Love you and bye-bye.